What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own parallax wallpapers in iOS 7. So you can see here this is actually a photo that I took with my iPhone and it has that parallax effect that everybody knows and loves from iOS 7. So it's actually pretty simple, if you take a picture on your own just go into your photos and hit that share panel swipe over to use as wallpaper and the only thing you really need to do is just swipe to see where you want the actual photo to be so I'm gonna put it just right here kinda of like just about where I had it before hit set set both and now you can see you have that nice parallax effect now I'm gonna show you how to do that with a picture that's much larger and you didn't necessarily take with your camera so let's go over to my Mac here and let's say that we wanted to crop this picture to where we could use it as a parallax wallpaper for our iPhone. So the basic rule of thumb here is whatever your normal resolution is for your device, for your wallpapers, you're going to add 200 pixels to each side of that. So if we just open this up in Photoshop, now if you don't have to have Photoshop in order to do this, you can use a free uh, photo editing software like GIMP or something like that but I'm gonna do mine in Photoshop since that's what I use most of the time and all you need to do right here is you're going to click let's say you start right here because this is usually where you start so you're gonna click on the crop tool and then up here you're going to type in these exact numbers you're gonna to to type in 1040 and then 1536 so it was actually already there since I uh, was testing this earlier but so you just want to put 1040 by 1536 and then you can move this to wherever you want it to be so we don't really want it over there because it's a little blurry probably want it on the far left hand side because that's where it's clearest we'll do it right about there okay so now what we're gonna do is just right click and then we're gonna go down here to crop and then crop the photo just like that so now all we need to do is save this to our desktop and we're gonna save it as a ping file and we'll just save it as new wallpaper and we'll save it right here just click OK and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put it in this parallax wallpapers folder that I have right here so this is how you're going to actually get it onto your phone you'll want to plug in your device to your Mac now you can do this entire thing on your PC as well and then you're gonna click up here on photos alright so we can see here that I already have this set but usually you'll just click on here you'll choose a fo folder and then I have mine saved to my desktop so we'll just click on that right there click open and then click done and when you click done it's going to sync that photo to your iPhone alright so let's go back to my iPhone here we'll unlock it tap on photos and there it is so let's hit the share panel uses wallpaper and we'll set both and now when we you can see that it has that parallax effect so it's unlock it and you can look at it there as well so that resolution is actually only going to work for the iPhone 5, iPhone 5C and iPhone 5S if you have an iPhone 4S or an iPad 2, iPad mini, iPad 3 or iPad 4 then you're going to be using a different resolution. I'll put those up right here so you can pause it and write them down and then and use that resolution in Photoshop. Alright if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys until next time this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.